What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. Today we're going to be using an ingredient that I've never worked with before. It's, a, it's actually, I was going to say it's a grain, but it's not. I keep confusing it with a grain, but it's actually a seed. It's called buckwheat. It is really, really nutritional. It's got tons of protein, uh, tons of fiber, iron. Uh, this stuff is amazing. It has no gluten, even though it's called buckwheat. It's actually not even related to wheat and it's not even a grain. It's actually a seed, just like quinoa. Really, really interesting uh, ingredient. I'm gonna be using it today. We're gonna use some Asian flavors and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So let's get right to work. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So every time we upload a new video, you get notified for brand new healthy recipes. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I'm using for this recipe. We have one onion diced. This is a white onion, about a half a cup. About two tablespoons of minced fresh ginger. About one cup of shredded kale. I have one cup of whole buckwheat seeds. about a half cup of diced carrots about four cloves of finely minced fresh garlic about a quarter cup of minced cilantro i'm using tamari sauce which is a form of soy sauce organic and then also I have um, some toasted sesame oil this stuff is really really delicious I love the aroma uh, this specifically this brand of sesame oil if you guys have access to it I highly recommend it we also have it available on our online store at healthyrecipe.store I believe is around ten dollars for the 500 milliliter container and then um, we ship anywhere in the U.S. within two to five days to receive. So any products or ingredients that you see in the videos that are hard to find that you guys don't have access to, we can pretty much have them shipped to you within two to five days uh, arrival time. And all of our shipping is $5 flat rate anywhere in the U.S. So if you guys want to order anything, you can go there. I'll provide the link below. Um, basically... For sauteing, I am using just extra virgin olive oil. And that's basically all the ingredients that we're going to be using. So we're going to go over to our saute pan and start with the aromatics. I'm not going to cook this first, uh, even though it's a, it's a seed. But it, this stuff, I think, cooks pretty fast from what I've seen. This is my first time working with it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually toast it first and then add the water uh, once it, it absorbs all the flavor of the aromatics so let's get right to work all right so we're gonna start out with a heated pan this is a saucepan at 275 Fahrenheit I'm gonna drop into that one tablespoon of extra virgin organic olive oil and like I was telling you guys the amazing thing about buckwheat is that it has a ton of protein uh, it's kind of like quinoa's big brother uh, it's a seed just like quinoa It's not related to wheat so it's gluten free it has tons of uh, uh, fiber and all kinds of other nutrients it has iron I mean this it's a great uh, seed It's a great thing to eat and the price is not bad at all either we have it on our website we have it organic we have it in a couple pounds uh, bags that you can order directly from us organic and uh ship time two to five days on it so if you guys can't find it locally uh you can order it from us and you'll see how much one cup of this stuff makes so it's um very versatile you could use it anywhere you would use rice or any other grain go ahead and drop the onions in
garlic. I'm going to go ahead and drop the buckwheat now. Actually, I'm going to drop the ginger first and then kind of get some of those oils in the pan before adding the buckwheat. Kind of want the flavors to permeate with the oil in the pan to build the aroma. And then I want to toast it and roll it around in that that oil with the with the other flavors so we're gonna build a nice base of flavor here already all right so once you got the buckwheat nice and aromatic and it's browned a little bit in some of the corners nice and toasted you start to get that smell from it then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add the carrots in the kale Stir a little bit. Now I'm going to drop about two tablespoons of tamari sauce. And we also have this on our website. The, the flavor of this soy sauce is amazing. Really, really good quality stuff. Organic, non-GMO, all that good stuff. I want to kind of get that flavor all throughout the buckwheat. It's starting to smell amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my water in. added about one and a half cups to the one cup of buckwheat that's kind of what I've been seeing in recipes um, for the ratio one and a half to one so what's gonna happen now is this is gonna cook and it's gonna absorb a lot of that water it's gonna become kind of like a, a rice or a um, kind of like a wheat berry so I'm gonna add a little bit of chili this is Thai chili very hot stuff um, just adding a little bit of it for heat optional of course so I'm gonna cover this and then we're gonna come back in about 10 to 15 minutes and see what it looks like all right, so it's been about 15 minutes or so, and the water has all evaporated. Look how beautiful this looks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in our sesame oil. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of it. This is going to add a beautiful toasted sesame flavor there we go add in the fresh cilantro turn off the heat stir that in and we are ready to serve some beautiful Asian style Asian inspired, Asian flavor inspired buckwheat. Looks really delicious. I'm really excited to try it. So let's get it on our plate. All right, guys. So there it is. Look how beautiful this dish looks. I really love the combination of the Asian flavors here and how good it smells. I have been growing my own microgreens, which are basically just, uh, these are radish sprouts, and I'm gonna place them on top here 
kind of like, um, you know, just as a garnish. These little radish sprouts are super peppery. They actually taste like if you were eating a really strong uh, radish, super flavorful. And the sprouts have more uh, nutritional value than the full grown radish. You could do broccoli sprouts, you could do so many of them. You can grow them indoors, you need no sun. So you get the benefits of eating full size vegetables just by adding this little tiny garnish onto your plate. Just another way, you know, of getting great nutrition. Look how beautiful that looks. Not to mention that it's gonna add a beautiful peppery radish flavor. I have quite a few of the Arrow Gardens on the website. If you guys are interested, you can order them. It feeds uh, the, the plant that you're growing or if you're gonna grow microgreens, we have trays that are cheaper and um, you can grow them indoors. Like I said, you don't need anything really. These, these are just growing right here in our uh, studio. So I always have now fresh uh, vegetables to add on top as a garnish, growing right here on my counter and also uh, I'm getting a ton of extra nutrition uh, packed in these little, little beautiful microgreens or sprouts. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys really soon on the next one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dig right in. Let you guys know tastes like mm. wow mm. wow right off the bat the first thing that really caught me off guard is the texture. Um, it actually like, it, it's, it's, it feels like it's gonna be crunchy on the outside, but when you bite into it, the whole thing like breaks down. Um, not like quinoa, where quinoa you get kind of like, it's kind of like a little bit tough still. Um, this stuff completely almost like dissolves in your mouth. Um, the flavor is really, really delicious with these Asian uh, accents in it. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. It's got a really, really cool flavor of, of its own on the background. Uh, it's a nutty flavor. Uh, not like any grain that I've had before. I mean, well, it's not a grain. Not like any seed, I should say or anything that I've had before, but really, really tasty. The microgreens, the radish, bring in the pepperiness and the freshness. Cilantro, right in there. Absolutely love buckwheat. Many more recipes will come with this.